and bless his holy name. Let us give him glory and honor. Bless him, bless him. Magnify his holy name. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Praise him, praise him. Give him glory, give him honor. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be adored. There is no one like him. He reigns supreme. Oh Joba Lai Lai Kabiesini. When he speaks, it is done. Nick Bat Yoba Soro, oh Dishisha. Give him glory, give him honor. And if you go at your love. Bless him, let him hear your voice. Bokofo, that you go rare. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. to say thank you. Thank you for what you did on Monday. Thank you for what you did on Tuesday. Thank you for what you did on Wednesday. Thank you for what you did yesterday. And thank you for what you are about to do today. Father, Baba. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Almighty God, you always reserve the best in the last. Tonight, give us the best. Give us your very, very best. Answer our prayers by fire. Heal every sick person listening to us. Set the captives free. Glorify your own holy name. At the end of everything, let, look, let your name be glorified again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. 
Well, let someone shout, Hallelujah. Now wave at one or two people and said, Good evening, God will surprise you tonight. God will surprise you tonight. Before we continue, we would love to pray for those who were born in the month of December. So if you are born in the month of December, you can, sta you can stand. Father, we want to thank you for your children born in the month of December. All we are asking for them is that everything concerning them you will complete. That everything concerning this your children you will make perfect. That even before we begin to count January again, your testimonies will already be full. And I pray that they too will also serve you to the very end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So, children of December, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you may please be seated. As at 7 p.m. tonight, the number of children born on the campground has risen to 11. Four boys and seven girls. So let the girl shout praise the Lord. And let the boy shout hallelujah. Some information very quickly before we go into the word of God. I want you fit on the On the 31st of December by the special grace of God. There will be a cross crossover service here. And we will be discussing the theme Ebenezer. Today you are advised to hold your services in your various churches. But if you want to come here, you are welcome. There be Holy Communion service, the last Holy Communion service of this year. Beginning at 7 p.m. It will be followed by a service of songs. Before the service proper. Tell the fellow next to you. So for anything better, whether the devil likes it or not. I am going to see the new year. The first Holy Ghost service in the new year is going to be on Friday, the 7th of January. And the theme God has given us is fresh air. Fresh Air. Now, yesterday when I was 
talking to you about the siege on your prayer life is over la no nigbati mo so fun wa wi pe iha mo ati ide na tin be lori adura re ti lo i told you how we used to pray when i first joined the church mo so fun yin nigba bi a se ngba adura nigbati mo koko darapo meijo yi that our amen alone would drive out any demon pe ami wa lasan orile jodo de bi wi pe gbogbo emi esu pata ni won ma ni won ma ko gba le ti won sin sa lo and god has already removed the siege on our prayer life olorun si ti si gbogbo ide ati idawo idi idi wo lori adura wa and so i can say god bless you ngba so pe olorun a gbogbo fun yin the amen of some people seem to say no don't worry yourself about that a mi awon mi ran dabi pe e ma yora yin lenu igbogun ti mo ri tito now in those days ni igba ni on friday night ni ale ojimo we used to have night vigil a ma ni iso uru only boys only men and boys were allowed awon okunrin nikan ni agbala aye lati wa and we we used to be led by an elder a baba agba kan ni won ma nse olori oludari wa nigba yen whose name was ojo baba ojo uh is resting with the lord now won tin sin mi ni aye oluwa nisinsin yi he would lead us in prayer from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. won o saju wa ninu adura lati ago mejo ale titi di ago meji uru hot prayer adura to gbona to rin le at 2 a.m. it will round up ngba ago meji balu ni won o de kun re and we the youth awa odo nigba yen We look forward to the 2 a.m. Ago meji yen gan la ndode. Because as soon as he closes, ni kete ti baba ba ti lo. We the younger ones. Awa odo. We will remove our shirts. Awa bo aso wa. Now we can pray. Ni sisi yi ise ise se bere pere wu. No, his own prayer was hot. Adura ti won gbona na o. Uh, there's a difference between the hot of uh, wood fire so gbon iya ton be ninu gbigbo na ti gi ina igi ina igi and the hotness of gas fire tabi o ya to si ti gbigbo na ina gas and different from the hotness of the welders fire o si yato si gbona awon ti won jorin and uh, our leader in prayer then uh, is <laughs> is pastor kuo he used to be young then but uh, <laughs> he's an elder now awon oludari awa odo nigba na ni baba wa kuo nigba na won won wa ni eso sugbon nisin sin yi agba ti de now we are talking of 1970s ni odun 1970 ni gbogbo gba ta nwi o wo remove our shirts abo aso oke wa and you can see us marching round the church awa ma jo yipo inu ile ijo singing around the city of jericho a o si ma jo round the city of jericho we pe an yipo ilu jericho we pray in such a manner a o gbadura ni ru ipo be And everybody in the street in the Butte Meta will know something is happening. I want to go. I want him burning. Go go. Go go. Now the Butte Meta. I want to go in Kanchele. Tonight, Lally, the heaven will know something is happening here. Amen. I want to go. I want to go in Kanchele. Ni even hell we know. Go da or no bad. You go you want. Now why why am I telling you this? Kilo de ti mo fin so di ele ifun yin. 
because somewhere along the line today nitori ni gba ti a ba nlo siwaju ti ta nte siwaju loni we will get to a stage where we will be calling on the young ones to stand and pray asiko bo ti a wa pe awon odo pe ki won o dide lati gba adura the elders can sit down and pray awon agba le joko gba adura ti won ni jele nke if you are 70 years and above you can sit down and pray to ba ti pe omo adorin odun o le duro o le joko lati gbadura ti e if you are less than 70 to ba ti pe omo adorin odun o when i ask you to stand to pray ti ba ni edide duro lati gbadura you pray like we used to pray wa wa gbadura yen gege bi ati ngba ni ojo kini ana how many of you are less than 70 eyin melo ni e o ti pe adorin odun let me hear the hallelujah of a youth. Then go hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah! <laughs> now, I'm not sure you heard me. No, Robert, but I want the hallelujah of a youth. Hallelujah to our God. Are you sure they can hear you in Lagos? I want them to hear you in heaven. Shout hallelujah. Now put your hands together for the almighty God. Thank you very much. Now you can be seated. Second Kings. Chapter 7. You can read the whole chapter. But I will just read. Maybe. Three people have three verses because you will know the rest of the story. Then Elisha said, Elisha, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Amen. Nigba na ni Elisha wi pe e gbo oro Oluwa bayi le Oluwa wi ni iwo yi ola le a o ta osun wa ye fun kikuna kan ni shekeli kan ni enu bode Samaria. I let that place open so they can put in the ni enu bode in the gate of Ifewara. Then a Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. Ti da ni olorun li ohun o si wi pe kiyesi bi oluwa ti le si ti odun le si le si ferese ni orun nkan yi ha le ri be o si wi pe kiyesi iwo ofi oju re ri sugbon iwo ki o je ninu re and there were four leprous men at the entering end of the gate and they said one to another why sit we here until we die I death America see why near to war body. Once we find our way, he say, "Tia, what you joke on him? He titi a war of you cool." Let me just be there. They've been reading this passage to you again and again in all the sermons. I just a drone in to the ating po. I say, "Be belly, Lord, go read." You know, I want you to ask you why. And I want to thank all our speakers. Young and old, they have been fantastic. 
The preachings this Congress had been just wonderful. And I want to decree to all your ministries the siege is over. Amen. Before I proceed further, I want to give you good news. You will leave here by the morning singing a song of victory. My people who spoke before had told you the definition of a siege. I want to want to I do miss of who I need party hammer. And they've told you the repercussions of a siege. Once it is of who I own tea hammer man for the effects of a siege starvation all manners of sufferings fear anxiety because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring etc etc and they've told us some of the signs that the siege is over. That there will be abundance. One of the preachers call it an overflow. That there have be no more fears. One of our speakers spoke to us about how to be free from fear. There will be freedom of movement. There will be all round peace. There will be a new lease of life. So I'm not going to spend time on all those anymore. I will just go straight to the process that will lead to the siege being over. The siege will be over if number one there is a cry for help when the helpless cry for help like I told you yesterday the seed will remain until you cry for help. And that this cry is not a cry to the king. Not a cry to the governor. Not a cry to the president. But a cry to the Most High God. So why you be see alone? Oh Lord, do marry your God, good Lord. The only one who can lift a siege. And the corner show show to the Muki say what I be hamo kuro. That's why we spent time with Psalm 121 yesterday. The yini diti afi lo apolo ku asikola ti wo ori dafi di ori koko leni ogofa. From verse one to two. Last year say kini de ikeji. Psalm 121. Ori dafi di ori koko leni ogofa. From verse one to two. I say kini ati ikeji. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Ebiyo gojo misiyo ki wani. From whence cometh my help? Nebiti na lawo miyitiwa. 
my help cometh from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. In Psalm 40. From verse 1 to 2. Psalm 40 from verse 1 to 2. He said, I cried to God. And he heard my cry. And then he brought me out of an horrible pit. Brought me out of merry clay. Set my feet upon a rock. And established my going. The, the Bible says. The, the cry we are talking about. Is the cry of someone who is in serious trouble. He said the, the, the poor man cried and God had him. In the story we have been looking at when there was a siege against Samaria to the extent that Women were beginning to boil their children for food. They cried. Even though they cried to the king. And the king told them, I need help myself. God had their cry. Psalm 34, verse 17. Psalm 34, verse 17. He said, The righteous cry, and the Lord had him, and delivered him from all his troubles. There is someone here tonight that God is going to deliver from all. All his or her troubles. And that fellow is someone who is going to cry. There, is, there are categories of prayers. There are categories of prayers. Well, <laughs> there is a prayer you pray that will sound as if you say, God, if you like, answer. If you like, don't answer. But when there is nowhere to turn, when there is a problem that nobody can solve but God, there is that kind of prayer that God cannot ignore. Years ago, there was a woman, a sister in the church, and had a son. And the son had this problem of epilepsy. She had tried everything. And it didn't work. Very, very nice woman. When she enters, when she rents a room in the house, to rent the people there will fall in love with her because she will clean the house she, she will do everything but the day the child has a crisis because of the erroneous belief that if somebody in, in epilepsy gets up in your present, you too will become epileptic. They will quickly tell her to get out of the house. 
So she kept on going from one house to another. And then one day, in the very center of the town, where the crowd is many and she was going with the child the child had an attack and everybody around began to run the woman grabbed the child and looked up to heaven and said God I'm alone today. It's you and I. Help me. The child was healed from that moment onward. Is there anybody here tonight? Is there anybody here listening to me who has a problem that only God can solve? Stand on your feet. Lift your voice to the Almighty God. And say, Father, it is you and I tonight. Help me. Open your mouth and cry to the Almighty God. It's you and I tonight. Only you can help me. And you know, you know the problem. It's you and I tonight, Lord. Help me. If you don't help me, I will be lost. If you don't help me, I will be sunk. Help me. It's you and I now. Just the two of us. Almighty God. Please. Help me. Help me. Help me. I know there is a crowd here. But it's you and I tonight. So. Only you and I, God Almighty. Oh, I'm crying to you now. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me, oh Almighty God. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Lord, help me. Ramila Wolua, Ramila Wolas. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Neil Kola, Jesu Lag Badura. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Ben, you marry Loruko Jesu. You can please be seated. I've always told my pastors when we gather together for ministers conference. When the member of the congregation has a problem, they run to the pastor. When the pastor has a problem, he runs to the general overseer. When the general overseer has a problem, he runs to God. That God who has been helping me will help the one whose amen is loudest. You are in the army, the bad guy, the Lord. You are the war. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. The next thing that happens after a genuine, desperate cry for help. In koto tu man shele le yi inyoho ati kekbe olon lati no kan wani to to. According to this story, gegebi tanti akayi is that there will be a word of prophecy. Oni wipe oro asotele atele. Elisha spoke. Elisha soro. See when the poor cry to God desperately. Nigba ti eni ti o se lai ni ba ki gbe pe Olorun ninu aini re. God will respond. Olorun a down. And make because God knows. Nitori Olorun mo pe not everybody can hear him. He se gbogbo eniyan lo le gbo un igbe eni na. He will Tell a prophet, speak on my behalf. I was often worried. We be back sorry. Be much better. I said, "For in Exodus chapter two, you know we Exodus three kg from verse twenty-three to twenty-five. I say, "Get a little good day, get dog man." Exodus chapter two from verse twenty-three to twenty-five. Exodus three kg. Better let us say, "Get a little good day, get dog man." The children of Israel cried to God. And one of my Israel, he kept up your Lord in Egypt. Neil, Egypt. God heard them. Our Lord was sick by the one. And then in Exodus chapter three, Neil, the Exodus three, Keta, from verse one to ten. I say, Kini de Kewa. Exodus three, from verse one to ten. Exodus three, Keta, I say, Kini de Kewa. God now spoke to Moses. I have heard the cry of my people. I'm ready to deliver them now. God had heard the cry of the people of your nation. And he has spoken. The siege is over. Amen. He said, "Mighty Dokmin." Amos chapter three, verse eight. He will Amos Ori keta ese kejo. Amos chapter three, verse eight. Amos Ori keta ese kejo. The Bible made it clear. Or or Lord, if you are with me, when the lion roars, Nigba tiki ni umba kera mura mu. Everybody will fear. When God has spoken, when God has spoken, the prophet has no option. He must prophesy. Amen. 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 A long time to do it. He simply said, "Don't know what we pay within 24 hours." We pay within 24 hours. 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 We The siege will be over. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. If you are the one, let your amen be loud. What he's saying will be unusual. We only we be on to so. You you don't see oh yeah to get it get it to shellery. Everybody is dying of hunger. Go go and wait. You uncle, they bring power. Women were eating their children. And we bring silver money. And the prophet now opened his mouth. Oh, holy, what sorrow! And said that nobody will want to buy food anymore because there be too much. You pay the day we hear that oh, cause any day we hear the money to the up boy and to the one he lose. It didn't make sense. Go, Mokbawa. 
But that's how God talks. That's yeah. how God operates. Years ago, in our first auditorium over there, we gathered together for a Holy Ghost service in the month of June. And God spoke to me as I was about to begin ministry. He said, Tell my people to shake hands one with the other and say, Happy New Year. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I said, Lord, I will tell them if that's what you ask me to tell them. A happy new year in June. What? So I opened my mouth and I told the people. Some of you are there. there. We shared Happy New Year in June. Our But the following week, early the following week, our troubles were over. May I be bold tonight? And ask you to turn to one or two people and say happy new year say it as if you mean it And then lift up your voice to the Almighty God. And say, Father, speak something unusual into my life. Right now, right now, speak something unusual into my life right now. Right. Speak something unusual. Sorrow. Oh Lord, speak something unusual into my life right now. Right now. Speak. Speak something unusual. So something that is completely contrary to what is happening around me something great something miraculous something divine something glorious something unusual speak something unusual into my life right now daddy Thank you, Father. Something unusual, something, hey, something so great that I would say, ah, uh ah, -uh, can that be me? Something unusual, Lord. Something miraculous. Speak something unusual into my future. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, Shio. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Please be seated. So step number one. A cry for help. Number two. A prophet prophesied. 
Number three. Iketa. Someone who was uh, what shall we call him? A, a, a minister. And it can to be Odisha. Of the king, someone very close to the king, and it's so small, but an advisor of the king said, Oh, we be can this thing ever be gentle? We shall be the third step is that there will be a voice of doubt. Oh, oh, God, he get any we be. There will always be a voice of doubt after God had prophesied into your future. Oh, ye meji. Afe ja de wa le ito lo ruba ti sote le sinu aye re. The devil will whisper to you. Is our we are of song? Don't believe him. Magbagbo. Are you sure what he says is going to come to pass? Upon somebody with anger, serious anger, to say to the devil tonight, shut your mouth. In Exodus chapter 5, you can read it from verse 1 to the end. Exodus 5 from verse 1 to the end. Moses arrived to deliver the message of God to Pharaoh. Don't say the Lord. Let my people go. Pharaoh said, Pharaoh, we pay. Who is the Lord? I don't know him. And I'm not going to let Israel go. In John chapter 11, from verse 20 to 39. John 11, 20 to 39. Jesus told Martha. Jesus we from Martha. Uh -uh. He said, <laughs> we pay. Your brother shall live again. Uh -huh. Martha said, it's already too late. Martha we pay. Uh -huh. There is a God in heaven who said in Isaiah 43, verse 13, Isaiah 43, verse 13, He said, I will walk, who will hinder me? Genesis chapter 18. Genesis Ori Kedini Ogun. From verse 9 to 14. Essay Kesson de Kenila. Genesis 18 from verse 9 to 14. Genesis Ori Kedi Logun Essay Kenny Kesson de Kenila. God said to Abraham. Or Lawrence of Abraham. Tell Sarah your wife. So for Sarah, Yahayare. Within the next nine months, Nibu Yamodun, she will be carrying a baby boy. Yosi Magbe Omobi Omokuniti Edo. Sarah laughed. Sarah is rearing. How can that be? Boni Yashili Shele. I'm 90 years old. Oh my, don't know do ni me. My husband is 100. I'll call me Gunti Bogono. Voice of doubt. I want to be a Remember, God told us at the beginning of this Congress. Let your faith become like that of a child. We've never had a Congress like this one before. I don't dream up the team. No, I spend days in the presence of God. Please, Daddy, what do you want me to talk to your people about? I mean, <laughs> I'm a 
Can you imagine any pastor? Wants to talk to his congregation. And he says, Today I want to talk to you about fresh air. Everybody will look at him. What's wrong with you? But that's what God says we are going to talk about in January. He's the one who said last month oh, we are going to talk about the appointed time. He's the one who said the siege is over. It's for now. Oh, now the Lord to say we pray is the matter. How much do we need to know? Don't doubt him. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. I don't blame you. We have all been there. But God will still be God. God will still be God. It doesn't matter what the devil may be whispering to your ears. In the name of the one who called me. In the name of the one who chose this team. Your siege is over. You know the story. At least the older ones. I want to to pay the you know I went to Ilori. In my usual traveling. And then, as I was about to leave in the morning, they brought a woman to the maternity center. She came. She came for delivery. And then she told the midwives, I just want two people to know they have made an appointment with death. That on the day of delivery, she was going to die. And they said to her, Why are you here? Why do you come? She said, I've changed my mind. But the, the appointment is already made. So the midwives ran to me. Daddy, before you go, please come and pray for this woman. So I prayed for her and I left. Two days later, or three days later, the midwives came to, Le to me in Lagos. Sir, the the woman you prayed for. Shortly after you left, delivered a child. But then we discovered there is still another child in her. And the second one has refused to come. We have been on it now for three days. We told her to go to the hospital. She refused. That's why we have come to you. I said, you came to me. <laughs> Who told you that the God in Lagos is different from the God in Ilori? I gave them a bottle of Coke each. Go back. Before you get home, the second child will have come. So they left. As soon as they left, I ran to my prayer room. Fell on my face. Oh God, you are the one who said I should call on you in the day of trouble. This is the day of trouble. You must help. And God spoke to me and said, 
Oh, so you didn't believe even what you said? So we got back, boy. Ah, I believe. I believe. I believe that after they have gone, I will come and call on you. And God said, if you believe, go and eat. Lord Ah. Ah. You know, Lord, I'm fasting. <laughs> Break your fast. Oh, yeah. I went on to turn it into a bad day. I ate. As I've always told you that day, I didn't know whether the food went through my mouth or through my nose. I was afraid. And in those days, there's no mobile phone. When these people finally got to a lorry, the phone should tell me. That by the time they got home, not only has the second baby come, there was even a third one. Three of them came. Stand on your feet and say, Father, let your prophecy be fulfilled in my life. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Shut the mouth of my doubt. Lord, let your prophecy be fulfilled in my life. Let it be unto me according to thy word. Let it be unto me according to thy word. Yet glory for me. Be our Lord. I know doubt may be arising in my heart. Lord God Almighty, silence the voice of doubt. Let your word, your prophecy concerning me be fulfilled. Let it be fulfilled. Oh Lord, every voice of doubt in my life rising up against your prophecy. Silence them. Silence them. Silence them, Lord. Every voice of doubt that says what you said won't come to pass. Ah, silence them, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Please be seated. So the next thing that follows is a second prophecy. After the man of God prophesied, and somebody raised a voice of doubt. God prophesied again. And said, What I say I will do, I will do. He only said that man is not going to be part of it. Let me prophesy to somebody else. All those who say you won't reach your goal. 
they will see it, but they won't taste of it. Amen. Amen. One for Julio, Suba will be general. The Bible says, the Bible says, Psalm 62, verse 11. Only Daffy Ori Kejileni Ogota Ese Kokonla. Psalm 62, verse 11. Only Daffy D. Ori Kejileni Ogota Ese Kokonla. He said, God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. The power belongs unto God. Power does not belong to your friend or your enemy or your father or mother. Power belongs to God. In Genesis 18, from verse 9 to 14, that I mentioned earlier, Genesis when Sarah laughed. God prophesied again. Sarah, you are laughing at me? Sarah, Is anything too hard for God? God said, whether you like it or not, Sarah. Sarah. I have spoken. It is settled. I was In Genesis chapter 22. We Genesis Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. Your helper abandoned you. I won't you run low or let you cool and you all He will return. In Genesis 22, from verse 15 to 18. Genesis 22, 15 to 18. Genesis 22, 15 to 18. After Abraham passed the test. That God gave him. Lenity, Abraham, was ready to sacrifice Isaac and then God stopped him. God now said something. You know, when he called Abraham, he had promised him, I will bless you. Abraham, Etc. Etc. At But in Genesis 22, Genesis He said, I swear. In blessing, I will bless you. He God. Say, I swear, nothing can change what I'm saying. Genesis 22, verse 15. As the Lord lives, as the Lord lives, is prophecy concerning your life. It's going to be fulfilled. It is the one who is trying, trying to stand in your way who is in trouble. And if I fed your lower or look at your bone. You know the story, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you so before you pray the next prayer. Hmm. The 
We were having a meeting like this. And Cheru Badibai. At a butemeta, of course, we are much smaller. Ni a butemeta, ah, koto yo. God spoke to me. Allah nuwa pesa for me. I said, "There's a girl." We kuya ma bini kambeni. That's your mother is standing between you and marriage. We iyare ni de na ati losi le okore. And if she will not let you go, yo ba wa ni je ko lo. She will die within a week. The following day, the woman came into my office very angry. With the daughter. Are you the pastor? I said yes, ma'am. Say one you are the you are the we are the terrible people who are trying to put wrong things into the brain of our children. I'm sorry, ma, what have I done? My daughter came home. I said to me, if I don't let her marry, I will die. I said, Mama, Mama. Don't mind the girl. I didn't mention your name. I just said what God said. Eh. You, you didn't say she should. I said no. You said I saw someone here. In that case, he asked the girl to go out. And the girl left. And then she turned to me. Uh, is, is it true that the woman would die? It's not you, oh, Mama. But as God lives, the woman who is not allowing her daughter to marry within one week she is going to die and it's not that i don't want her to marry it's a question of you know she's the one taking care of me what's going to happen now if she marries She's taking care of you. And you don't want her to marry. Oh, I feel cool, lolly, okay. ah. We don't know where the siege is coming from. Ah, Mabiti, say my timbo. If the siege on your life is from somebody close. Your siege is over. Lord, you say more So Mama finally said, okay. I said, Mama, that's no problem. I, I can talk to the husband. They will take care of you. Yes, I said, I'm going to talk to you. Yes, I said, yes, Six months later, the daughter was married. Stand on your feet. Cry to the Almighty God. Whoever is the obstruction to my reaching my goal, Father, deal with the obstruction. Deal with the obstruction. Deal with the obstruction. Open your mouth and cry. This is a very special night. Father, deal with the obstruction. You know them. Please, Daddy. Deal with the obstruction. Ah, please, Lord, every obstruction in my life, every obstruction, Lord, you, you are the only one who can deal with it.
swear to me, Lord, that my siege is over. Remove every obstruction to the fulfillment of your promises concerning my life. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Ah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. And the next step after that, please be seated. Is that help came from unexpected Source. Four lepers. Who can ever believe that help will come to a city through lepers? But the lepers were inspired. God inspired them to begin to discuss. Why well, are we sitting down here? Let's do something. It's not the lepers talking. It's the Holy Spirit talking through them. It's the Almighty God who is called the ever-present help in time of trouble. In 1 King chapter 17, from verse 8 to 16, Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to say amen to this one before I tell you. Amen. God said there's someone listening to me now. Very soon. Like People will say of you. Only God can do this. Amen. In first King chapter seventeen, verse eight to sixteen. Oh, back The widow of Zarephath. Opo Zarephati. Wasn't expecting help. Was getting ready to eat the last meal and die. But God has inspired his prophet. Go. There's a woman who is in need of help. It wasn't Elijah that was in need of help. God can feed Elijah by using birds. He can use an angel. But there was a widow in great need. And God inspired a prophet. God can inspire anybody to bring you help. In Second Kings chapter five, from verse one to fourteen. Second Kings five from verse one to fourteen. It was an ordinary house help. As a matter of fact, a house slave that God inspired to talk to the wife of Naaman. That if you go to my to my place, 
there is healing for you there. In Mark chapter 10, Mark Orikewa, verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10, Mark Orikewa, from verse 46 to 52. It was the very people who told Bartimaeus to shut up. They were also the very people that Jesus said, Go and bring him. Help can come to you from totally unexpected place. From totally unexpected source. Help can come to you from somebody you have never met before. I've told you the story. And I became general overseer. And I went to my village. I met a businessman there. And he made a suggestion. Oh, what sort of Oh, 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 you are general overseer now. Suppose you have something to do in the village. There's no house here. I will supply you with blocks. Build a house. And you can pay me whenever you have money. I thought it was from God. Build a house. Very small house. The day I roofed the house, he sent a messenger to me. Where's my money? I want my money now. And I, I didn't have a cobble with me. I cried to God. God, look at me. I didn't want to build a house. Is this man who got me to trouble? Help me. I was sitting down here in, my, in the camp. I had prayed all night. I was sad. I have now become a debtor. I put my head on my table and I fell asleep. When I woke up, there was somebody standing before me who came all the way from the north. She God spoke to her. Go to Lagos. On your way to Lagos, so, to Deco, there's a place called Cam. Get down there. Because I will guide you. She got to the front of the little camp. The camp was very little there. Yes, ma, what can I do for you? She said, I'm looking for the head of this place. I said, that's God. He said, I know, I'm talking of his representative. Yes, I am the one. He said, God told me yesterday to get up. And bring you this envelope. I've never met the fellow. And wherever you are, if you are hearing me, please contact me. Because I've never seen her since then. I opened the envelope. It was the exact amount that I needed. 
and my shame was taken away stand on your feet cry to God Father Baba, from the east send help to me from the west send help to me from the north send help to me from the south send help to me from heaven above send help to me crying to the almighty God send help to me don't let me be put to shame send help to me Lord send help to me Send help to me, Lord. From people I know and people I don't know. Send help to me. From the east, send help. From the west, send help. From the north, send help. From the south, send help. From heaven above, send help to me. At this very moment, send help to me. From people I know and people I don't know. Send help to me. Don't let me be put to shame. Send help to me. Send help to me. Send help to me. Oh, my Father and my God, from unexpected sources, Send help to me. Send help to me, Lord. From unexpected sources, send help to me. Send help to me, Lord. Send help to me. Inspired all those who will help me wherever they are. Send them to get up now and bring help to me. Send help to me, Lord. Thank you forevermore. Baba In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I decree that before the sun rises tomorrow, your help will arrive. Amen. Please be seated. And then something interesting happened the heavens opened and the heaven will open over you now and there was a noise hallelujah Oh, there are Bible scholars who have given all manners of explanation for the noise. I want, I like, I can call people it is so. Ori shiri shiri, diti ari wono officiale. All I know, onto ye mi, is that there's plenty of noise in heaven. Oni wipe o polo pari woni mbelaru. Plenty. I believe that God just turned a little bit of amplifier from heaven. 
to bring some noise down when you study noise generated by God oh you'll be amazed in Exodus 14 Exodus 14 21 to 28 Exodus 14 21 to 28 the Red Sea had the noise of a rushing mighty wind was coming towards it and the sea fled a noise is going to come down from heaven tonight and we opened a way for you where there was no way before Amen. In Exodus chapter 12, from verse 29 to 36, Exodus 12, from verse 29 to 36, Pharaoh had a noise of weeping in all the rooms in Egypt all the houses in Egypt he heard the noise and told Moses you can go now all those who have been holding you captive they will hear a noise tonight In Joshua chapter 6, Joshua, verse 20, Joshua chapter 6, verse 20, Joshua, Kefa, the wall of Jericho had a noise. He shook its foundation and it fell flat. Everything blocking your way to your promised land. We'll hear a noise tonight. In John chapter 11, John John chapter 11. Read it from verse 39 to 44. When Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus, and asked them to take away the stone, the Bible said he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. The, the tomb had a noise and released somebody who had been dead for four days. Every opportunity you have lost will hear a noise tonight. They will come back to you. <laughs> I can tell you several stories. I can just tell you one that you already know. You remember? There was a wedding. One of our churches. And they were already signing the register in the vestry. The husband has signed and passed the pen to the, to the wife. And then the husband had something. Somebody called him. He's the only one who had. He answered and fell down from the chair and died. There was commotion in the room. Everybody prayed all manners of prayers. 
After some time, the most senior pastor there remembered that I've taught them when prayer fails, try praise. So he told the people, keep praying. He went to the, to the church and told them we are coming. Because by now everybody was wondering what's going on. Because they have been there for 30 minutes. And then the pastor returned and told everybody, stop praying, begin to worship God, tell him, he's the resurrection and the life, he's the king of kings and the lord of lords, he's the one who can reverse the irreversible, he's the one who can bring the dead back to life, he's the one who can wipe away tears from all eyes. And so they began to worship God. And death had a voice. And released the young man on the floor. After 30 minutes, he sneezed. Open his eyes. I said, What am I doing on the floor? And they said, When you get up, we will tell you. Is there something you lost that it looks as if you can never get it again? What I want you to do for just two minutes is to make a joyful noise to the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Let the devil hear your noise. Let the heavens hear your noise. Let the tomb hear your noise. Let the Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom. Glory be to your holy name. I praise you, Lord. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you are wonderful. You, you are mighty. You are excellent. There's no one like you, Daddy. Glory be to your holy name. Glory, glory, glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Daddy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We must see Captain of the Ocean. We must see Captain. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Ne Urukola, Jesu, La Dossin. Everything you have lost shall be restored to you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. We are almost there. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Daddy, I show. This is for me also. I, I will say amen to it again. Amen. The Almighty God says there is someone listening to me now. After tonight, I will change your testimony. I change your testimony from very good to excellent. See,
there was a noise from heaven and then let you know The enemies heard the noise and what that boy will know. And they were confused. It will work on Bama. And because they became confused, Nitori Bay, you could work on the Bama Yi. They scattered. What's that law? They were frightened. They've never had a noise so much. No, in Psalm 35, verse 4. Psalm 35, verse 4. It is written. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. In Isaiah chapter 41. From verse 10 to 13. Isaiah 41 from verse 10 to 13. God promised. Or Lord By the time I finish helping you, you will seek for all those enemies and you will never find them. Uh, because we still have so many things to do, I, I, I want to hurry, but uh, oh. Amen. Daddy wants me to tell someone. Daddy, if I can suffer any con. Even if I stop after that, it will be good enough. He says, every door that refuses to open to you shall be burnt. Amen. Yes. Yes. Let me bring all the other steps together as quickly as possible. Again, The enemies fled. And what? The lepers arrived. And <laughs> They found plenty of food. Plenty of money. The Bible said they took the money they found in the first tent and hid it. They went to the second tent, got money there and hid it. You know the meaning of that? Lepers were beginning to have fixed deposit. And deposit. They were dying of hunger in the morning. By the evening, they were having enough money to do fixed deposit. That is unusual promotion which is coming your way let me ask you a question let me ask you a question because I'm the one in a hurry I don't know about you are you really in a hurry so don't call me do you want everything God has for you tonight? Let me hear your yes. I've told you this story before. 
One of my sons came to me. I'm tired of being on one spot for so long. I want to move. Pray for me. I'm attending an interview tomorrow. Okay, I said, uh, let us pray. I said, no. Speak a word. Okay, the interview will be successful. He went, came back, bring me with joy. He said, so, Daddy, I prepared hard for the interview. When I got there, they asked me three questions. What's your name? What post do you want? When do you want to start? Ah, I said congratulations. I said no. Daddy, speak another word. Uh, so I said, okay. Money Your promotion will be rapid. He said, Amen. The following day he came back. Almost trembling with joy. He said, I got to I got to the place of work to resume. They sent me to the boardroom. And the people interviewed me yesterday were there. I want to for a one new lane to bembe. And they said, young man, uh, when you left, our Managing director, because he applied for assistant managing director. That's what he got. After you left, our managing director resigned. Are you ready for the post of managing director? Ah. So he came by and said, congratulations. Uh, that's rapid promotion. He said, no, daddy. Speak another word. So I said, okay. The God who started a good work in you will complete it. He left. The following day he came back. Almost speechless. I said, what is it again now? I got back to the place of work. They sent me to the boardroom. The people in the boardroom said, we've discovered why our managing director Left. Our competitors have offered him double the salary we were paying. We don't want you to leave. So we double your salary. <laughs> so he came. So I said, ah, ah, congratulations. He said, no, speak another word. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to take the company from the owner? I'm going to give you two minutes. How great do you want to become? Which is, which is the goal you want to reach? Talk to God for two minutes. And I will speak a word. Tell God that which you want, the most that you want. How great you want to be. Tell God. I will speak a word. And we will hear your testimony soon. Go ahead, talk to him.
<coughs> Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And now, in the name that is above every other name, receive what you have asked for. And anything you should have asked for, that you didn't ask for, Receive it all the same. Amen. It is done. I say it is done. I say it is done. If you receive that, let me hear you shout another hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may please be seated. And what followed was what I would call compulsory evangelism. The leper said, if we keep quiet after what had happened here we are in trouble listen to me very carefully you see from now on one of the ways you'll be greeting anybody you meet is my siege is over. And they are going to ask, what do you mean? And you tell them, my siege is over. Nothing can stop me now. I'm going to be the greatest. I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be the richest. I'm going to be the happiest. My siege is over. Then they will ask you how. And the answer will be Jesus. Everywhere you go now, you must testify. And then, let you know. Finally, look me when the lepers came to the city. You told the people there. Once of all, what in Benilu? They was rejoicing. Are your boy Luna? And the entire nation began to sing. Luna, better sing it, Corny. Ah, the siege is over. Well, he said, Marty Dope. The siege is over. He said, Marty Dope. the Lord lives in your nations all over the world there will soon be singing of victory <laughs> thank you daddy Again, this is mine, but I will share with you. 
Emi Lord said someone listen to me Oluwa so pe enikan be tin gbo mi nisinsin yi very soon like a light you know your problem will be problem of space to put your blessings amen i soro ti wa ni oni soro ibo lo fe ko awon ibokun re si Psalm 41, Psalm 47, verse 1. Psalm 47, verse 1. It's for us now. Clap your hands. All ye people, shout unto God with the loud voice of triumph. Clap your hands. All oh, ye people, shout unto God with a loud voice of triumph. How many of you know that song? In case you don't know that, maybe you know another one. Because this, this is the song you are going to sing into the new year. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. Amen. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. Amen. To sing that song out to Korean as I give an opportunity to those of you who have not tasted the Lord. We must inform you know, tell T. Nianfani at the toil on Wool Amphani. The Bible says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. The belly is so we pay to work you see the pay the rain you are. I know there are some of you who came in after the first altar call was made mo mo pe opolo po ninu yin lo wa lo ti de nigbati iwaso akoko ti koja if you have just arrived to ba je pe sese de ni and you have not yet surrendered your life to jesus you see ti fi aye re fun jesu come now ma bo nisun sin yi we will give you some minutes a o fun oni iseju bi melo kan if you were here at the beginning and you didn't surrender your life to Jesus and you want to do so you can come now we will pray for your salvation and then you can find out how good the Lord can be oh, I can assure you if you surrender your life to him your siege will be over too so I'm going to count from 1 to 10 very quickly and then we'll pray for your salvation and move on to every other thing that we want to do so if you want to give your life to Jesus come very quickly now I'm counting 1 I'm not talking of those who have already given your life to Jesus tonight. I'm, I'm talking of those of you who probably came late. Or those of you who were here but you didn't decide then. Come now, very quickly. Two. AG.
clap your hands. All ye people, shout unto God with a loud voice of triumph. Four. Shout unto God with a loud voice of triumph. Five. With a loud voice of triumph, nine. Those of you are already in front, and those of you are on the way, and the eating bowl, or no? cry to God. Yeah, keep your Lord on. Say, please save my soul. Save my soul. Well, Camilla, I will serve you for the rest of my life. Let your blood wash away my sins. Please, Lord, let me become one of your children. And I will serve you forever. Cry unto him. And the rest of us, let us stretch our hands towards these our brothers and sisters and intercede for them. Say, Father, please save their souls. Like you saved our souls, save their own souls too. Be merciful unto them. Be merciful unto them. Let your blood wash away their sins. And then become true children of the living God. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, and my God, we want to bless your holy name. Thank you for your word. And thank you for these people who have come As to surrender their life to you. Please receive them. Have mercy on them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Write their names in the book of life. And anytime they call on you, please answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.
Now I rejoice with those of you who have just surrendered your life to Jesus. I promise you from now on I'll be praying for you. So I need your names, your address, and your prayer request. So those of you, if you turn to your left, you will see somebody carrying a placard. Please follow her. She will lead you to where some pastors are waiting. They will collect the information I want. And then you go back to your place. God bless you. You can begin to go. Let's clap for Jesus Christ as they go. Somebody shout a freedom hallelujah. The next thing we want to do now is Holy Communion service. The first time the Holy Communion was taken, was the very night that Israel left Egypt. It was a meal that said bye bye to bondage they never came back to egypt you are free tonight you are never going to be bound again so the meal you're about to take now is extremely significant. It's a celebration meal. It's a meal that says, I am free. It's a meal that is saying, my siege is over. So I rejoice with you. I should join us in partaking of this meal. When you get to read John chapter 21, when Jesus Christ wanted to tell Peter, 
Jesus first of Peteru that your siege is over. We pay is the man ready to do you can now walk into your destiny. The first thing Jesus Christ said was, Come and eat. I'm inviting you in the name of the Most High God. To a celebration meal tonight. To a celebration meal tonight. As we partake of this Holy Communion tonight, we are saying, and so we pay to the devil, you will never catch me again. We are saying to the host of heaven, and so Thank you, God. The siege over me is over. Therefore, if you are not a child of God, don't join us in eating. The Bible made it clear. If you are not a true child of God and you partake of the Holy Communion, He can kill you. But if you are a true child of God and you partake, just like it happened in Egypt, the siege over your body will be over the siege over your resources will be over the siege over your destiny will be over so let's get ready now for the holy communion service because of the size of the auditorium. There are small, small altars that have been set up within the auditorium. So the pastors will come to you from these various little altars. And they will serve you the only communion from there. When you take the bread, just keep on rejoicing. The siege over my body is gone. When it is time to drink the wine, I will tell you how we will pray. As soon as I give the go ahead for the bread, as soon as they serve you, you can eat the bread and just, just begin to rejoice. Tonight is a night of joy for you. Joy that you have never known before. If you believe me, say amen. Okay. The Lord Jesus, Jesus Oluwawa, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, Omuakara, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, Obu, and said, Owikbe, Take, ba, eat, je, this is my body, e arami, broken for you, ti ti do this e ma ye, in remembrance of me. Ni 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For you take, you eat, and begin to rejoice. That the siege on your body is over. Go on, pastors. If you have not been served wine, shout hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Pastor. So, we're going to stand. When you drink the wine tonight, you just thank God that I'm not just free physically, I'm also free spiritually. You just thank Him from the bottom of the After the same manner also he took the cup when he had sobbed, saying, Let him know to Omuato Agona will we pay this cup? I go ye. Is the new covenant in my blood? Oh, you might get much to know, Jeremy. This do ye as soft as he drink it? Am I she ye near or tea me? In remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Leader of us, the kid with the host. I'm free. Not only physically, but spiritually. The siege over my spirit is gone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Eshen Oluwa, Mikara Basikere Bost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Oh, glory be to your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. No shake it and dream of a run the girl, my catana. Run the girl, my poor shake it, I remark a shack or two. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to the Holy Name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Let's keep on praising the Almighty God. 
even as we prepare very quickly for the anointing service. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to you. Glory be to your holy name. Oh, we worship you. Ancient of days, be glorified forever. Be glorified forever. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Father. Baba Eshew. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni Urukola Jesu Lagbadura. We want to go straight into the anointing service. A fellow see is in family Roroyo and isn't see. David said, David the week way. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And then thou anointed my head with oil. The purpose of the anointing tonight is to mark you out. So that when the enemy sees you, they will know this one has been set free. It can no longer be a slave. Because it is written, touch not my anointed. So the anointing will begin now. If I'm a you know, I better listen to you. Again, just keep on rejoicing. Just thanking God. Because believe it or not, the siege is over. Over. He say much he do me. Again, there are several. Otters, Okoloka, one pepeloa, Larry Bogon. I believe very close to you, two genocio, and there are pastors there. I want to show you to see what I'm back now with the oil that we have blessed. Belu or Roti at Yasoto. You will see them if you look right or left. Two bad war, two tabus, you are in one bear. So you can go there for your anointing. All the lossy bear, four from your rolling out here. So that we'll be able to finish on time. If you are near the front, then you come near the front, and you will be anointed there. Thank you, choir. We'll continue to have some music. Now we'll be doing two things together quickly. In comedy, la mama shepherd, logan. One of course is we want to say thank you for what he had done tonight. E kini ni wikwe afe duke lo lo rufu nto shilale. And the second thing is that by special grace, I will be anointing your handkerchiefs today. E kedi ni wikwe ni pauri afe lo rufu. Out to ya, I should do you so. And the one for today will be very, very special. Tita lay you see, Jay to shake Pataki to law. It will be an handkerchief anointed for freedom. Oh, no, me. I should do you eat ya so. Four minera. You can't give it out as a, as a loan. Oh, the fun you. It's your own. Tieni. Keep it very, very jealously. Nitorina. O ni lati tojure gidi gidi. On Sunday in all our churches. 
ni ojo sunday ni gbogbo ijo wa gbatapata by the grace of god there should be a small thanksgiving service for this congress o ye ko je isin ope isin idupe fun ipago todun yi a friend of mine was talking to me not too long ago ore mi kan ba mi soro lai pe yi he was reminding me of something I used to say. Ora mi leti on kanti mo ma anso. And that is, we shall see what we shall see. Oni wepe, onta amari, amari. As long as God is still on His throne. Fo in wang ba, ti olon uba mbelo ri ite. Before the end of this year, you will have testimonies. Amen. God we into party, we are new for love and we are ready. Just have the faith of a little child and go. Shani bagbo tiyama tuto. On Sunday, have a Thanksgiving service. Ni ojo Sunday, eshe sinidupe. What God has done this week. On ti ala unti sheni no se yi. We will never forget it. Myself and my family will have our own Thanksgiving service here. So now you take your Thanksgiving offering. And at the same time, take out your handkerchief. Back on now, Kemu and Washo in June. In sort of Kemu on that day, I'm going to bless both together. My Yabuku one sort of my young was in me more like like before. The offering of tonight, or a lay, will be a link to your finances. You, Jeff, Okunfa, see it to show one or a. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you won't spend for the devil anymore. Amen. You will call Oh, So take your Thanksgiving offering ready. And take your handkerchief ready at the same time. After I After bless both. When you go and drop your Thanksgiving offering. And you'll be free to go. The Congress is over. And I will see you either on December 31st or the coming, the first Friday of next year. So let's stand on our feet. Lift our offerings to God. On one hand, low handkerchief lifted to God. On the other hand, thank you, Daddy. That dear show. My father, my God, I want to bless your name. I know you always hear me. I know you love me with a love that I can never explain. Thank you. Baba show. I come before you tonight. As your special son. On behalf of all these children. Those who are here. I want him Benny. Those who are watching all over the world. At I want to walk out. And I say thank you. 
We pray, Baba, Thank you, Father. Baba, me Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Blessed Trinity. Meta loko eshewun. Thank you Alpha. Eshewun Alpha. Thank you Omega. Omega eshewun. Thank you the All Sufficient God. Allahu to 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 sheku eshewun. Glory be to your holy oh, name. Oh, you will come more. This is the Thanksgiving offering of your children lifted to you now. Eh, ye ni ore a wan more. Lati dukwa lo wore ti wan gbe na soke si o. Father, bless it. Bye-bye, Bukunfu. Sanctify it. Hey, yeah, see me more. Use it for your glory. Yes, it love for go ye. And all who are giving now. Bukba, I want you to see if you are still like this. Father, don't let them ever beg again. Ki, one of my shit, Toro, Jema, Lai, Lai. Don't let them ever lack again. Ki, one of my shit, she, 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 Lai, 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 Lai. If they are in any debt, in a way they cannot understand, pay off the debt. From now on, let them know the meaning of abundance. Amen. And now, my Father and my God, as I wave my hand towards all handkerchiefs and pieces of cloth lifted up to you, all over the world, everywhere where the wind can blow, let your anointing go into this cloth. Saturate each one with your anointing. Wherever they use it, let bondage be destroyed. Let there be deliverance. Let there be breakthroughs. Let the impossible become possible. Let the irreversible be reversed. Let there be uncommon testimonies. Let there be answered prayers. Thank you, my father. Because I know it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now wave your handkerchiefs. Oh, and prophesy to yourself. My siege is over. Say it loud and clear. My siege is over. Say it again. My siege is over. Again, my siege is over. Again, my siege is over. Again, my siege is over. Finally, my siege is over. Shout a mighty hallelujah. Now you dance to the nearest basket to you, drop your thanksgiving offering, and you can begin to go. God will go with you. Your ways are clear. Oh, your siege is over. 
Glory be to God, we can have some song and singing and dancing as we go.
Goku. Zatsi dopi, ita dopi, Goku si to, onu bala jaku bolu, oni ayola o mago. Hallelujah! All ministry choir for Sunday.